Welcome to my first HackerRank video. I am going to record every single day one HackerRank challenge and we will start, I already started a few days ago with, um, I think in total I have challenge, I've solved eight or nine challenges. I can check it somewhere here. Let's see. There we go. A uh, lot more, a lot more. Uh, six months, I don't count that. So three days ago, I started one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen challenges. Let's see it as um, okay. I have a warm up. You can catch up pretty easily with thirteen challenges. Those are very simple challenges, starting at A plus B, um, some warm up challenges, and from today on, every day one challenge at least and let's go and get our next batch or our next star or at least work towards it i like to go through the profile and then on the problem solving and we are right now in algorithms so grade gen grading students let's see if i can increase the font to make it more readable Hackerland University has the following grading policy. Every student receives a grade and inclusive range from 0 to 100. Okay, so basically um, we are having a range between 0 and 100 and whenever we have a number that's higher than 40 we want to have the possibility to round up to the next uh, multiple of 5, which means like um, 45, 50, 55, 60. Um, that's basically it. And it says that, yeah, N could be... That's the numbers of, number of grades uh, between 1 and 60, and the grade itself can be between 0 and... 100 points so to say okay let's see i don't think i need a, any explanation from there and we go with swift i like the dark uh two spaces maybe we can make it bigger i don't i don't know if that really helps does it i think it does okay so first thing is we will want to, oh yeah, the result, what's going to be the result? Sample output is for each, why is 67 an output? Sample input, sample output. I think we should round. Oh, one sec, there's another uh, constraint, less than three. Okay, less, so that's why 67 stays. Uh, 68 would have been rounded to 70. 73 is less than 3 until the next multiple of 5 and that's why we round okay so we definitely want to loop through so then we say index in grades um, dot count that's for all and then we have basically if index basically if the current grade which is the index we can maybe make a local variable for it Current grade is smaller than 40. Well, we just don't do nothing and we will just print the current grade and continue to the next index. First of all, uh, it returns something and doesn't print, so we will want to collect. Um, our list of ints here and we just say list append uh, current grade and then if current grade divided by 5 is smaller than 3 we want to let's say Mm. Left over, let's say left over is like this. 
then we have it, it's left over, whoops, Y5, here. If left over is less than three, then we want to um, add to the grade. So then uh, new grade is equal current grade five minus uh, leftover because if leftover is like two, right? Um, let's see. If leftover is two, that means we have um, 67. Then five, and then the leftover is two, right? Then five minus two is three, and we want 67 plus three to round up to uh, 70. And then we say list append new grade like this. And then we say continue. And so we round it up for anything bigger than 40. And else we are just appending because then it's not less than three. And current grade, and we return the list. Whoops, on the code. Crossing fingers, it succeeds. Nope, can't read my five minutes. End. Mm. Oh, whoops, uh, plus. Wrong answer. Okay, let's see. The input is four. Out. My output is seventy-three, sixty-seven. It's fine. Sixty. Oh, wait a second. It's less than three. So we should have sixty. Am I? Am I rounding up to forty or not? Any grade less than 40 is a failing grade. Uh, complete the function grading students. And that's why you should read the description always. Uh, returns the grades after rounding as appropriate. The first line contains a single integer. Oh, four is just how many integers I have. Okay, that's great. So then I have an error right there. If leftover is less than three. Wait, no, 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 no. That means actually leftover is two, is less than three. Uh, and we do that right now, the leftover must be bigger than three. Because we want to have it less, yeah. Because leftover is gonna be from 67, it's gonna be two, which means we are three away from the next multiple five, which we don't want to happen, which leftover is two and less than three, uh, it would actually happen. So instead we want to say bigger than two, this way, okay. Now, now it should work. Come on, damn it. Um, input, your output, that looks, all right, but expected output is 40. Really? I thought we're not rounding, but we are. What? Didn't it say um, failing grade is 40? And if the value grade is less than 38, no rounding curse. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought anything that's failing, no rounding curse. That's my fault. Okay, third run, complete, submit, and awesome. Uh, it should actually appear some kind of, hey, you can continue to the next one, to the next batch. Let's try again. And again, those are, those are warm up challenges, so they are pretty simple. And there we go, we have our next challenge. And yeah, so we can just simply go to the next one. But um, I'm gonna stop it here and the next one we're gonna do tomorrow. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like the video or comment if you want to suggest how I approach things or, and uh, 
subscribe if you don't want to miss out the next challenge. Have a good one. Bye.